Hey all, here are OS reviews. Although MP3 and MP4 players are a dying breed, there's still a few reasons why you might want to consider one. These days, our smartphones are getting just larger and larger in terms of size and having bigger displays, so putting something like this into your pocket as you are running or jogging can be not the most convenient thing versus something that's much smaller and maybe clips onto your shirt. So today we're taking a look at a new MP4 player here in 2021 by Mi Chen. This one here has a 2.4 inch touchscreen display, so still trying to be slightly more modern these days and uh, having a design that is a little bit more sleek. It does have built in Bluetooth 5.0 if you don't want any wires and it also can be expanded on by default it comes with 32 gigs of built-in storage and it sells for around 40 bucks a micro SD card slot though can further expand it up to 128 gigs like most music players that are dedicated these days, it supports hi-fi lossless audio codecs like FLAC playback, it supports cover art information, and also has some basic features like an FM radio, even has an interesting recording function that allows you to record audio even from a phone if you're connecting it like this. Last but not least, the 500 milliamp hour capacity battery will last roughly 50 hours of continuous music listening when you have a headphone plugged in. Now inside we have all of the accessories in this tray, including a free TPU rubber case, which is a thoughtful accessory that also can be attached onto a belt strap. Music player itself, which we'll take a closer look at, there is also a pre-applied film screen protector on the front that you can peel off the front surface and it protects the screen from getting scratched. Down below here we do have a auxiliary cable, which again is for line-in recording. Here is a charging and data sync cable, which is unfortunately using micro USB. Yes, this is a low-cost music player, but I still would have liked to see USB Type-C here in 2021, so that's something I would like them to add maybe in the next update. There's also a pair of free included headphones, although for the best quality, obviously you would want to pop in your own. Now there's also a quick user guide. All right, so here's what the player looks like inside of its included TPU case. So it protects it and it offers a slight ridge on the screen. So if it accidentally falls, it's gonna prevent anything from shattering as easily. We have all the cutouts, including a built-in speaker on this unit. So it can play back sound and music directly. But again, for the best quality, you would want to ideally use higher end headphones. The design of the unit is actually pretty modern and we have just a touchscreen on the front along with a slightly larger bezel on the bottom, but overall it's pretty compact. Again, since this thing only has a 2.4 inch screen, it's a petite by contrast. However, it still is very well constructed in terms of the build, despite the low cost, it has a surprising density and heft to it because the entire frame is constructed out of aluminum metal. So it does feel very reassuring. And then we do have the glass on the front and then another glossy surface on the rear, which might be plastic, but still feels very good in terms of the overall weight. So it looks very well built. On the edge here, we do have a power key that you can tap on once to lock the screen and once again to wake it up, along with the volume rocker that can be accessed to, again, turn the sound higher and lower. We have just the Mi Chen logo along with the aforementioned loudspeaker. Bottom ridge contains the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port. On the left-hand spine, you'll find access to the micro SD card slot for expanding the memory, and that's it. So a very simple design. As far as the UI is concerned, it is very simple to operate, but uh, transitions and effects are pretty abrupt. So it doesn't have, uh, say, as much fluidity as on our phones these days. It has more of a smooth transition or kinetic scrolling. However, everything does work, and it's pretty responsive with its capacitive touchscreen. We can see the time on the top along with the battery percentage remaining. So for example, if we tap on music, we can play all the the songs, we can sort by artists, playlists, uh, we can also turn up the volume, you can hear this is what the speakers built in sound like. So still a little bit on the quiet side, but if you don't have anything else and you're just listening to something or watching a short video, it will work in a pinch. Some of the functions that we have here include the ability to repeat the song. We can also add it to our favorites list if we wanted to, and then shuffle, as well as uh, take a closer look at some other sound settings, such as playing around with a equalizer. You can also adjust the properties of the sound to emphasize different elements if you're listening to rock music, funk, hip hop, jazz, classical, so on and so forth. So this is how you scroll through the list using these bottom keys, and then there's a back button on the top. So again, the UI is a little bit on the simple or 
primitive side once you dive into lists, but everything does work. You can also change the playback speed of a song if you want to speed it up or slow it down. Two tracks are included in the memory by default, but you can delete them if you don't like them just by connecting it to your computer and then removing them. So there is a song from Carly Rae Jepsen as well as a song from Frozen that is on here by default, and it shows that it can also display cover art info if you have that for a song. Overall, it's effective as a music player. You can also sleep the screen and the music will resume in the background, and while the screen is off, you can still adjust the volume and all of these keys are still responsive. It works well if you're jogging and just listening to something in the background. Quality of the music, again, if you are playing back a lossless audio track, like in the FLAC format, also sounds very good. Connection with the 3.5 millimeter jack is tight, doesn't provide any static or hissing, and everything is a pretty smooth and pleasant experience, gets plenty loud as well if you crank up the volume, and just works as expected. So pretty solid for the audio performance. Now in terms of video, again, you're also able to play back clips if you are um, away from, let's say, the internet and you want to just save something on here or maybe a favorite video of yours. So here's a demo, Tom and Jerry, that came included, and you can also change, again, things like the volume as well as the skip ahead by scrubbing just by long holding for a few seconds, reminiscent of iPod Nanos back in the day. Uh, it's not going to really beat a phone in this regard because the screen is obviously a lot more cramped compared to the giant devices that we have. So for watching movies, per se, maybe not the best device, but there is that function built on in. The viewing angles of the screen, it's just a LCD panel, but brightness does look decent and the overall colors also are fairly realistic, but it doesn't seem to have the widest viewing angles, not really an IPS screen, because if we tilt it too much from the side, you can see how it washes out a bit. Uh, but if you're looking at it from the top down, it, it still looks decent overall. So not too bad, considering this is a budget music player at the end of the day. There is also an FM radio that does require you to plug in headphones to act as the antenna, and you're also also able to record stations uh, and music that you hear. Ebook here is a basic text reader, so it's not really um, as elegant as a Kindle, but if you want to display some quick memos or notes, it can also show it back to you. And then here is the recorder. So there is a microphone located on the base here that will pick up your voice for quick notes. You can also use the line in recording function here. So if you connect it to your smartphone, it will record whatever audio is playing back from the phone. There's also basic photo manager here that you can take a look at some sample images, sometimes even takes a moment or two for the image to completely load, as you can see there. So again, not the fastest processor by any means, but again, you get the idea. If you want to store some very quick favorite photos, it can also be done on here, just like most devices we've seen. Now there's also a very basic timer function that you get, which is a extra utility tool, as well as an alarm clock that you can create, wake you up using the built-in speakers and chime, which is another thoughtful addition, a basic calendar, although you can't really save any appointments or special memos. However, it can still show you the day of the week uh, and historical days as well. Finally, in terms of theme, allows you to change the wallpaper on the back just by tapping on that once. So we have a more colorful option, and there's another one that changes it to a more gradient finish, and then goes to the black that we started off with. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this Michin MP4 player here in 2021, a new model that is still coming out, one of the more dying breeds, as the popularity of these products has slightly dwindled as phones also have the ability to play back music. But if you want something in a smaller form factor dedicated to performing this task, uh, it still remains, I think, a solid choice that has very good build quality. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS reviews.